Hello, welcome back. It has been quite a while. Um, so we're going to get back into videos today with um, a few introductions to the tanks and a few new um, members to the, to the fish room. Sorry about the camera, it's struggling with the window being behind me. Maybe let me step forward a little bit. There we go, maybe that's helped a bit. Um, so we have four tanks up and running just now. Um, we have a blackwater tank uh, that I'm phasing away from being a blackwater tank. We have a riverine tank. We have uh, what will be today a shrimp tank. And then we have a, a heavily planted nano with a, an African dwarf frog in it uh, that we'll be switching out, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we look at the tank. So without further ado, let's, um, let's start looking at the tanks. Okay, that's about as uh, as good as I can get it with um, glare and that kind of thing. So what you will see with this tank is it's not fully filled. There is an above waterline section with some uh, terrestrial plants, uh, dracanias, some of the plants that you do see in your fish shop that uh, die after a few weeks underwater because they're not designed to live underwater. Uh, so what we have, you can't see the full width of the tank because it just won't fit in. Uh, over here we have a lot of vallis, you can see a bit of a jungle. Uh, then we have a lot of java fern uh, attached onto the wood and I will be um, I will be getting a bit more java fern as well to, to kind of go up this bit here. Uh, one of the fish is really freaking out just now, you can probably see that. Um, we also have some apani wood coming out of the bottom of this cork, this is cork bark. Um, in here we have some fire mouths, we have some rainbow cichlids, we have dwarf pike, we have a few species of catfish, um, we have a royal far farawella in here as well. So uh, we also have some tylomelanea snails which you can see just in the bottom corner there. Um, and if you look closely you can probably see just in the shadows in here some of the catfish whizzing around. So what we're going to do with this tank is put some uh, bloodworm in there. I get a lot of bloodworm into a little bag here. This is uh, pretty good if you want. To... Okay, so here's the riverine tank. Got two big pieces of slate in there and then a lot of uh, slate chippings. It's Welsh green slate. Um, and what you can see floating there is some threadfin rainbows. There we go. So we have threadfin rainbows in there. And we have some glow light danios. I'll be getting some more threadfin rainbows soon. And then what we're going to do is dump some bloodworm in there for everyone. Okay, here we have the planted nano. Uh, you can see our little frog up top there, just cruising around. It's up here. Um, so in here we've got Anubius bonsai, quite a lot of it. It's growing really nicely in there. Uh, we've got some Hygrophila australia rose, Australis rose, something like that. Uh, regular Hygrophila polysperma, some Altenanthera. Um, ooh, what is it? Rosafolia mini. That's this kind of nice bronzy, kind of reddish type plant. We've got some crypts. Um, they've grown back from essentially roots, so they're quite nice. Um, and we've got some limnobium on the top, because, you know, it's a frog tank, you expect lily pads. 
super low tech, super low maintenance. So as you just saw, what we have here is uh, what will be the shrimp tank. Um, I'm probably going to put CO2 on it at some point. Uh, but what we have is two large pieces of... It, I'm not entirely sure what the stone is. It's somewhere between sort of Siru stone and dragon stone. It's quite an interesting looking one. Um, we have some Anubius just there. We have some Hydrocotyl Tripirata at the back. But I'm trying to work out what to do with it. We have some Altananthera and Nikki Mini down around the back. And we have some Pogostamen Helferi up the front. These shiny things just here, uh, Ricky Fluitin's pads. Uh, so they'll grow in quite nicely. I am waiting on some moss to arrive. So they'll be here sometime in February. Uh, and what we're putting in here today is some cherry shrimp. 